Hi, I'm Celeste with Cal TV Entertainment, and I'm here with Simul. Hi, we're here together. Yes, we are here together, and we're here at Outside Land, so let's see uh, what's on his mind right now. So, um, are you enjoying Outside Lands? Is it your first time here? It is my first time here, and I am enjoying it. And we're like an hour and a half in, so it's like smooth sailing so far. Great. Yeah. Do you have any really interesting experiences that you've had at this venue or any other venues? I have a ton of interesting experiences at venues over the years, but this is my first time here, and so there's nothing that that strange has happened yet. Um, but I feel like as the day goes on to the last day, people might be like, on their last sort of bit of energy and if they take the right combination of substance it'll either be like a beautiful sort of end to it or like a nightmare crash and I'll just be here to observe it and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, you'll be up on stage observing it all. I will, yeah. It's a good vantage point. Do you have any crazy fan experiences? Oh man, um, I mean sometimes like usually, so my music like definitely like, and I invite it, like I like people to share their experiences in life and then like especially if my music, if they relate to my music in a special way, like love to know about that. And that gets very rare, but sometimes it becomes a little bit like personal. And um, you know, I'd say for the most part though, people know how to manage their like sort of like thing yeah. and not like go a little too hard uh, into my sort of personal bubble, but it happens. And when it does, it's more like, it is definitely between friends. I'm like, yo, that was crazy. But like, it's more like people are just trying to be people and figure it out and no one's perfect. So yeah, it's a little bit of a rant, but that's kind of, yeah. No, that was a great answer. Yeah. Um, is there any like hidden meaning that you try to put into your music? Not a ton of hidden meaning. I try to be really like open and, and like straightforward with um, my songs. Uh, some of them, sometimes I like, can get pretty metaphoric and for that reason like people take it off in their own direction to, you know, to relate how they will with it and I think that's actually like very beautiful so um, there's not a ton of hidden meaning but like uh, there are some cryptic messages but they're not like Area 51 style you know great um, and so you studied music in college yes. but how exactly did you get started in it how young were you uh, so yeah, I graduated with my music ed degree to be like a band teacher and um, around that same time like I had started writing songs as well and did like a, a, a record, my first solo record with my friend um, and at that time like John Mayer was exploding and this is like, you know, I didn't want to be like a guy with a guitar so I started a band like right out of college and we were a band for like 10 years and then we stopped being a band and then Simul started sort of out of my uh, like home basement studio, um, trying to make sad songs that made me feel good, <laughs> and uh, went from there, yeah. Do you think you're gonna have like this crazy pivot in your career where you go from sad songs to a completely different genre? Nah, I mean, it, it's been cool because like, I think basically because like, I had that experience uh, as being younger in a band, um, where like we were maybe under a bit of different pressure um, to like, make it or like you know make a living at doing it and now like that I'm like a bit older and like I have a I have these little kids now and um, I'm lucky to be surrounded by people that like encourage like honesty in music and do what you want do what you feel like do it do what you love with music um, because of that like I'm not really surprised by any sort of a switch up yeah is there any advice that you'd give to yourself um, when you were either switching to going solo or yeah. just starting out with your band? Yeah, ooh, that's a good question. Um, I'd probably say like, and I try to tell everybody this, that like when they're pursuing something that they like are drawn to, is to not like wait around for anybody to like hold their hand through it. Um, I wish we did way less of that. And in the music industry especially, there's like a lot of toxicity that happens. Uh, like in any industry because of money and money does crazy stuff to people. So when you're like a young uh, person and you're trying to hustle and like make it in that in that world, um, like just don't wait around, like go do it and force your way to do it, you know, into into the into the scene or whatever that scene is. Um, but be honest with yourself, be honest with other people and be a good person. <laughs> Great. Yeah. And um, so we are reporting for our college. Okay. Do you have any crazy college stories that you are willing to share? Man, I went to like two very like mild schools, but like I think when you get kids in like a conservative experience, like I kind of experienced, uh, they go like crazy, crazy, because you're like basically telling them like, oh, don't drink too much, like don't drink at all, like or don't do these things, and so all of mine were like probably very normal college experiences, but because it was in that like lens of conservative, it just seemed like oh my gosh, call E News, like 
TMZ needs to know about this, like, but it was just like normal college stuff. So I really have like the most boring college experience when you really look at it. I almost got kicked out of school because I bought a kid a drink on his 21st birthday. And at our school, there was some archaic law that said like you couldn't do that. Like it was like, it was this very specific thing. And I had to go in front of the dean. This is SPU, I'll call you out by name, SPU in Seattle. And they're like, sorry, you're gonna have to write a five page paper about the free Methodist tradition of not drinking. Or you, I don't know, maybe you get dropped from school. And I like very proudly laughed and walked out. But I didn't get thrown out of school. Wow. Yeah, you should have gone to UC Berkeley. <laughs> yeah, a little different. Yeah, I, I would have been better off, I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> and um, my last question, okay. um, having to do with college as well, okay. do you have any advice for our college students watching? Don't stay in college if you don't want to. Go do, go do you outside of college, because it's way less expensive to do you outside of college. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for your time. All right, thank you.